Excel friends, this video is an exciting one because Microsoft finally released a new version of checkboxes. These new checkboxes are much easier to work with and we can do so much more with them. In this video, I'm going to cover checkbox basics, how to apply conditional formatting to checkboxes, how to calculate them, visualize them, and more. Let's get started. Here we have a basic to-do list and want to insert checkboxes next to each task. To insert checkboxes, select the cells we want to add a checkbox to, navigate to the Insert tab, select the checkbox command, and now we can easily check off tasks once they are complete. We can also use basic formatting to format the checkboxes, so we can update the color using the color dropdown, make them larger or smaller using the font size dropdown, or realign them using the alignment commands. Let's take a closer look at what actually happens when we check off a task. If you look in the formula bar, the value of the cell is automatically set to true when the checkbox is checked or false if it is unchecked. This is so valuable because it allows us to reference the checkboxes in formulas and calculate values depending on whether a checkbox is checked or not. For example, we can add conditional formatting to our to-do list to emphasize which tasks are complete by selecting the tasks, opening the conditional formatting dropdown, selecting new role, and then use a formula. Select the first checkbox and update the absolute reference so that it's only locking the column, not the rows, by deleting the dollar sign in front of the row number. Lastly, we can select format to choose the formatting we want to apply to checked off tasks. I'm going to add strike through formatting to cross off completed tasks and fill the cells dark gray to highlight the remaining tasks. Hit OK, and now when we check off a box, the formatting is automatically applied. Next, let's look at how we can calculate values depending on whether a checkbox is checked or not. For example, here we have an attendance tracker and want to know the number of days each student attended, so we need to calculate the number of checked checkboxes. To do this, we can use the COUNTIF function to count the number of cells in each row that are equal to true. Just enter COUNTIF, Select the first row of checkboxes as the range argument. Enter true as the criteria argument to count the number of cells within the range that are equal to true. And then fill the formula down the column to calculate each row. Now what if we wanted to calculate the percent of days attended instead of the number? We can easily calculate this by dividing this value by the total number of checkboxes. To do this, select the end of the formula, enter the divide symbol, and now we need to use the count a function to count the number of checkboxes. So I'm going to enter count a, select the first row as the value argument, and fill the updated formula down the column to update the values. Now that we know how to calculate checkboxes, let's look at how we can visualize them. For example, we want to add many bar charts next to the percent attended column to visualize these values. So I created a new column and set it equal to column H. We can add mini bar charts by selecting the new column, opening the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, selecting data bars, and choosing any color. The last thing I like to do is remove the percentages to clean up the data bars by opening the conditional formatting dropdown again, this time selecting Manage Roles, double clicking the data bars, and selecting Show Bars Only. Thanks to Excel's new checkboxes, we are able to easily create this attendance tracker that automatically calculates and visualizes the number of checkboxes checked. Before we wrap up, I want to quickly go over how to delete checkboxes because it's not as intuitive as you would think. If we select the checkboxes we want to delete and press the delete key, it appears like they were deleted, but if you hover over the cells, you'll notice that they are still there. Deleting checkboxes puts them into ghost mode and once they are rechecked, the checkbox is visible again. To delete checkboxes, open the clear dropdown on the Home tab and select Clear Formats. To wrap up, we covered hundreds of reasons why Excel's new checkboxes might be its coolest new feature. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit too excited about these checkboxes, and hopefully now you are too. As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel for more.